Philip. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you and thank you for your time for the interview today. You're welcome, you're well, yeah. welcome. We have several questions for you and uh, yes, first thing is uh, uh, since the start of the year, uh, the price of uh, uh, polysilicon has been increasing for uh, 15 weeks, weeks continuously and how was the GCL affected? And what are GCL's measures to deal with this situation? Yeah, we, we have seen in the recent quarters and years um, silicon skyrocket up to 270 RMB per kilogram. Um, then it went slightly down and in the beginning of this year it, it's going up again. Um, this is mainly due to um, electricity shortages uh, shutdowns of factories um, and also the increasing price of metallurgical silicon. We see um, the metallurgical silicon price slightly improving. Um, nevertheless, we, we see uh, not a big decline coming online uh, in this year, uh, but in Q4, basically uh, the new silicon capacities should uh, come online and outweigh the demand, so there, there might be a bit uh, improvement in silicon price at the end of this year. Okay, here we go. My second question, sorry, we are in the interview. Oh, <laughs> and here is my second question. And we were seeing PPA uh, price spikes in Europe recently. Do you think this will affect the demand in the market? Yeah, we, we have seen uh, PPA prices going up. We have seen electricity prices for end users going up. Um, and um, additional with the, with the conflict between Ukraine and Russia, we definitely see a higher demand. And also the um, high PPA prices in the market um, make it very attractive for uh, developers and EPCs to build their projects right now rather than to wait. Okay, and my third question is, Europe is uh, striving for uh, accelerated uh, transmission uh, towards uh, renewable energy and how much opportunities is there for solar and what will GCL to, uh, do to size the opportunity? Yeah, that is correct. So we also see um, from the governments in the European Union that there is a big uh, strive towards renewable energy. Uh, we see even um, the target formulated to reach uh, 1000 terawatts uh, until 2030. And in order to reach that, we would have to uh, install 100 gigawatt per year um, until 2030. That is a lot. Um, and and we, are, we are really excited to, to work for that uh, in order to reach it. And GCL definitely is, is participating in that by uh, increasing our capacities on the module, but also on the silicon side. Uh, and especially on the silicon side with our FBR technology, we believe we are ready um, since FBR technology has a much better far carbon footprint, lower electricity consumption and also better cost. Oh, the solution sounds great yes, and yes. Uh, yeah I hope you will have big success there Thank you very much. and uh, my fourth question is have the recent lockdown in China affected GCL's production and has the in uh, disruptions in logistics affected GCL's supply in Europe um, the the COVID disruptions in, in China has, has made production definitely more complicated and difficult. Uh, we see um, inland transport uh, being stuck uh, very often even between cities. We see problems in getting the goods to the ports, especially to Shanghai. Um, so we see a lot of delays, which is definitely not, not good but we, we manage to, to keep productions running and we manage to uh, also satisfy our clients and partners in Europe. Okay, that's not too bad actually the actually, situation. That's, that's okay, yeah, yeah, GCL deals it well. Yes, and good yes. to hear that. And uh, uh, the next one is, uh, 
has uh, enterprises are uh, betting on diff, uh, different next generation technologies like Topcon and heterojections. And what are GCL's plans to develop these new technologies? Um, yeah, you're right. We, we, we are developing uh, the Topcon technology. So we will have uh, available and certified products uh, for the European market as well from Topcon uh, starting this year. Um, that does not mean that we do not believe in heterojunction. So also heterojunction is a, is a very promising technology. Um, nevertheless, we believe that the first step uh, for these next generation technologies will be uh, Topcon. Also since existing monoperk lines can be adapted to Topcon, but um, we expect also the introduction of heterojunction uh, to uh, happen in 2023. Okay, okay. I think uh, that's all my questions. And thanks again for your time for Thank the interview. You very much. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a success business for this uh, uh, fair and the coming uh, years. Thank you very much. Uh, we will work hard to uh, make the targets in Europe, but also outside Europe happen. Thank you very much. Okay, sounds great. Perfect. Yeah.